Welcome back to M Vlogs. I am Matt Allgood, and today we're going to be spotlighting the. You see it right there? The complete first season of the Drew Carey Show on DVD. And so far, guys, this is kind of this is kind of weird, but this is the only season of the Drew Carey Show that is actually on DVD. There's no other seasons uh, that have that have come out on DVD or Blu-ray for this show. Uh, it's kind of weird. Like it's it's one of those ones, kind of like Perfect Strangers, which they haven't come out with anything past the past the actual uh, the actual second season of that show. But they've they've only come out with the first season of the Drew Carey Show. So I don't really know why that is. But anyway, we'll go ahead and read we'll go ahead and read it. Uh, what it's about? A comedy first season one of the Drew Carey Show. Drew Carey, the character is a lot like you and me. A smarter-than-he-looks average guy and an underwhelming job, some unfulfilled dreams, and the support of some great friends. And it just so happens he's also played by the very funny Drew Carey, who's also the co-creator and occasional writer of The Drew Carey Show. The complete Season 1 DVD set reminds us, uh, reminds us why we laughed along with Drew... For nine smash hit seasons, we meet Drew and his buddies, Oswald, Lewis, and Kate. Drew meets Mimi, the cosmetics challenge co-worker from hell. And everybody meets uh, jobs instead of careers, lumpy bods instead of a supermodel sleek, and Cleveland instead of Manhattan. It's like real life, just a whole lot funnier. And it's got uh, special features, live inside a cubicle, Drew and his fellow series stars... Share reflections and anecdotes, and one nine hundred Mimi spoof. I, you know what? I've never actually, uh, I've never actually watched the like the special features or anything on here, but um, but uh, I am gonna watch this pretty soon. I used to watch this on, uh, it used to be on ABC back in the day. I think it started in like ninety five, I believe it was the first year. Let me look. Uh, yeah, ninety five, ninety six was the first year of the show. Um, I watched it for a while. It was one of those ones that I kind of, kind of like Family Matters that I kind of fell out of, like, uh, I don't want to say out of love with. I used, I, I used to watch it, and I watched it for a while, but, like, later seasons, they just started doing more of the, uh, like, the dancing and singing and kind of weird episodes, which I didn't hate, but it wasn't like Family Matters where it turned me off of the show altogether, but it kind of, like, it... I don't know. I prefer the more realistic kind of episodes, which were, which was the Drew Carey show for in the first uh, like four or five seasons, and then the, and then like kind of down, and then I think it kind of went downhill from there. Uh, but but it was pretty funny, pretty much all the way through the run for the most part. I think it's got. Let me look. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I believe it has twenty two episodes. Let me look. I'm gonna open the inside and see. Okay, there's disc three. Yeah, 22 episodes. It's got 22 episodes of the show on four discs. So it's a pretty good collection. It's got a it's got a full amount of uh, it's got a full season on the show, um, and it's got lists and descriptions of each each episode. So it's it's a pretty good show. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before. I'm sure a lot of people have watched it before. Another thing I didn't really like about the Drew Carey show. Uh, I, uh, something I did and didn't like was when Kate left. The uh, when the actress that played Kate left, I didn't think the show was as good after after her departure or whatever. But Oswald and Lewis stayed all the way through, and I believe Mimi stayed all the way through, and of course Drew stayed all the way through. But certain uh, when they got rid of Kate, I didn't like it as much. I didn't think the show was as good anymore. But like I said, overall uh, a pretty good show. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen the. Uh, if you're a, if you're a new fan of the show, or if you're just kind of wanting to recapture the the magic of the ABC ABC sitcom that ran from '95 to I think 2004 was the last year of the show, but they need to come out with more. It's like Perfect Strangers; they need to come out with more of the seasons on DVDs. I would definitely I would definitely buy more of the seasons if they would release more more than just just one. But the first season's got a good amount of episodes. It's got like I said, 22 episodes. On the first season, so it's definitely worth checking out. The Drew Carey Show, the complete first season on DVD. So if you guys have never seen it, or if you are wanting to catch up and for nostalgia's sake, the Drew Carey Show is, is a good show. I always thought it was kind of a funny show. Uh, not my favorite of the sitcoms, but definitely definitely has its moments and 
and and funny funny scenes and and I like the I like the actors on it pretty well. Uh, Ryan Stiles and and uh, Diedrich Bader were always funny as as his friends. Andrew Carey's pretty good in the in the lead performance in the lead uh, lead role as Drew as Drew. Uh, I think it's just Drew Carey on the show too. You know, sometimes like whenever whenever they do the uh, here's some of the artwork from the uh, from the box box art and from the discs. You know, like sometimes whenever they do like the shows, they rename the characters like the last name. You know, like it's it's always like you know like Andy Griffith. It was Andy Taylor, and you know sometimes they kind of change the names around a little bit. But I, I believe it was just Drew Carey on the show. I think it was just he just stuck with his regular name. But anyway, check it out. It's the complete first season of the Drew Carey Show on DVD. Definitely worth checking out. It's a funny show. And this has been M Blogs. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes coming up coming up soon, guys. If you did like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Show your support for the smaller channels. And more, uh, more M Blogs coming up soon. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.